With that, let's get up to M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. There to call all the action. We welcome in our broadcast team. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. So now the Ravens getting ready for their first go on offense. They will be led out by the former Heisman Trophy winner back in 2016. Always a handful to contain, Lamar Jackson. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. They go quickly here out to Moore. And even 20 yards and a first down on the game's very first play. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially as pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that in that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his... Williams loses the football! Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home, the next guy comes through. And they'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Scampering home from 19 yards in as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Let's make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team, they're at home. That's a strong opening drive. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said, better team at home should steamroll them. And we've seen it go the other way. Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go out and prove it right now. This one taken from the seven. And an excellent return there as he's up to the 35 to make it the 40-yard line. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. Leading this unit will be the big arm man out of Texas Tech. 10th pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 40. Throwing to start the drive, Freeman. And that one goes incomplete. They tried something out of the bag of tricks, but it's incomplete and now second down. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Throwing again, Freeman. And the connection made to Terrell Pryor. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 35. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Mahomes going to throw. 
And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. To throw again on second down. Mahomes able to find Shaheen here. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. Let's go, boy. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Cordero Patterson, the one he was hoping to get it to. But it'll be second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now here's Mahomes, escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive game. Well, the defensive coverage was good, so good, he just decided to make a play of his own, and it worked out. Yeah, you often wonder if they think to themselves, was the coverage too good to allow him to run the football? But I think you'd rather take your chances with him doing exactly that, and he beat him on that play all the way to the end zone. Here's Phil Dawson now for the point after. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So this drive spans seven plays, and it was all capped by Patrick Mahomes using his legs to get in the end zone. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. These two teams all tied after one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Jackson on first down. He's going to take off with it. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. He had gained really good yardage. But that's what you tell your quarterbacks, right? Get down after you've got the run. You don't have to prove your toughness. You know, I think that's what a lot of coaches are trying to preach to their guys. Get the yardage, get down, protect the football, and protect yourself from extra hits as well. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. It's a quick turnaround for them after the turnover, but the way they moved it on their last drive, they're probably eager to get right back at it. And you know me and you know my tendencies in this situation. What do I want right now? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Take your shot right here. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. He's going to loft one deep left side. This is caught inside the 50. Team. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Cordero Patterson, 49 yards. And the Eagles have taken the lead. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from. But for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. Extra point try now for Dawson. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Out is 
is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken at his four. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here's Damian Williams making his way back out. And he has enjoyed some solid groundwork. And some good holes have been created by the guys up front. Almost get the sense that their game plan is working to perfection. That what they worked on in practice all week, they've just translated and taken it out onto the field in this ball game. And boy, they're liking what they're seeing. And an alley to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Beating him there with his legs. 21 yards, first down. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he claps down, down carry it's Williams and down to the 44 five yards at a time we've hit the two minute mark of the second quarter 14 to 7 We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Out to his left. Stephen Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. Second time he's lost a fumble. This one hurts more. It's returned for six. He's been under a lot of duress, hasn't he? Pressured, hurried, harassed the whole game. Well, but the offensive line not giving him a lot of help. Not a lot of help, but the bottom line, he's got to take care of the football. Dawson tacks on the point after, and it's now 21-7. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This will be taken in at the one. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And in just about every game we see, partner, what do we do when we look at the stat sheet? We go right to the turnover differential. Without a doubt, because when we see that, that pretty much tells the tale of the game. And I know there's still plenty of time to go, but you've got to take care of the football in order to win it. The throw here to Andrews, the tight end. He'll have a first down past the 40. 16 yards on that one and a Raven first. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Herman Moore is the man he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Second and ten. Here's Jackson again. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now Jackson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 27-yard line. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 15, and he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. 
defensively, when you see cover two, the thought has to go through the quarterback's head. Drive the football when making throws. It's not just the deep guys covering. It's the guys underneath you have to be careful of. Drive your throw. Otherwise, you see what results? Interceptions. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 35. Well, that certainly changes things. Yeah, I think the thought process is they take this lead into the locker room, run something simple here and run the clock out. Instead, they get the big play. Now they have a chance to increase what they've done in the first half. Freeman, a first down and more. Devontae Freeman, they're not going to get him. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Freeman, 44 yards. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Now Dawson for the extra point. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at the three. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple of extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. Now we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because... So even if you run some type of misdirection... get to the locker room. Final 17 seconds of the half here as they come up to the line, first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Here's Jackson to throw. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. Room here to run. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. And his kick is good. Not by much. It was leaking oil in the end, but he tucks it in the bottom right corner. So two quarters. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter. Here we go. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get into that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Mahomes now to throw. This one complete to Devontae Freeman. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. On play action, it's Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. And now he's going to use his legs. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Offensively, they like their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tucking in run time, and he picks up a first down. 36 yards on the play. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop it. They'll look to run with Freeman. 
And he will take this one in for an eagle touchdown. Devontae Freeman. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does, because after that big play, I think resistance almost felt futile at that point, didn't it? And the very next play, they come right back, quick, fast, and in a hurry, and put it in the end zone. This one fielded at the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. It was Mitch Unrine that made the tackle. 56, 56. Check 56. Looking to throw on second down. Jackson, and his throw's going to be incomplete. Nicole Hardman, the intended target, and it's third down. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Here's Jackson. He'll buy some time right. He can run for it, and he will. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 33. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 down at the 33. A quick throw out to Hardman on the perimeter. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. Throwing on second down. Jackson completes it to Hardman. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Play action. It's Jackson. And he's going to keep it here. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Now it's Jackson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And he will force his way into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Damian Williams with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens cut into that lead. They were able to stop him at the line on first down, but this time he punches his way through. And sometimes just because you're stopped on the first run, it doesn't mean the play call was bad or incorrect. You might just need better execution and just a tad more determination. And they got it done on the second try. Well, the Ravens say they have it. They do have it. Great job by the kick team there to get the football, but also don't forget about the man that started it, the lonesome kicker himself. I love that you brought him into it because he doesn't get nearly the attention he deserves. Oftentimes, it's only when it's negative. In this case, he created a positive play for his team. The escapability in evidence there is that one. Good for 15 and a first. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Here's a quick hitch route and the throw complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Jackson from the shotgun. He's got it to Williams. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 
15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Throwing is Jackson. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Domada Pecco racks up the sack. After the sack on first down, Jackson has got his man. It's Andrews. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They'll still have a third and goal now despite picking up 13 yards on that pass play. Now it's Jackson. And this is going to be intercepted. Snags it for the pick. I'm not sure, Brandon, we've seen a sloppier played game this year for a team on offense. Turn it over four times and expect to win. No chance whatsoever. And look, I have no idea what the ratio is about turning over four times and how that correlates to winning or losing, but I guarantee you, it's not very good. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. And now look at him go. The 20, 10, touchdown, Philadelphia. Juju Smith-Schuster, 72 yards. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Dawson able to connect on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Miko Hardman, 74 yards. And the Ravens get a bit closer. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Extra point by Stenerud, up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to 18. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. This will be taken about the 12. But he breaks through another tackle. And an excellent return there as he's up to the 35 and make it the 40-yard line. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Interesting, Mahomes wants to throw it. Flushed out right. Now he'll pull it down. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Freeman, 38 yards. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. I tell you, Charles, you play to the final whistle. I get that. But 
There are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score late in the game with it already well in hand. You seem a little squeamish about that last I, score. I struggle with this one. <laughs> I struggle. But on the other, the, the argument, I get it on the other side is, hey, do something about it. Stop them. I guarantee you, I know who was really excited. Fantasy owners yeah. who had them. Hey, listen, get the points for me. They're not worried about hurt feelings or anything like that. That's just new age stuff. The extra point up and good, but this one was decided anyway, as that will be the final action in this ball game.